Hi all! As far as you know, every customer has his or her purchase history where all orders, payment transactions, invoices and deliveries are stored, and actually all this information is stored in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. If some transactions have been already created for the customer, you will not be able to remove this customer in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. However, you can block him or her and prevent from placing orders in the Sano Web Store. To blot the customer in Microsoft Dynamics NAV, just open the customer card and on the General Fast tab select one of the available options in the blocked field. All these options have an impact on the sales transactions inside NAV. For example, if you select Ship, then you will not be able to create new orders and shipments for the customer in NAV. If you select Invoice, you will not be able to create new orders, shipments and invoices. All means that no transactions are allowed for this customer. But for the Sano Web Store, no matter which option you select in the blocked field, it will block the customer and prevent from placing orders in the Sano Web Store. When you block some customers in Microsoft Dynamics NAV, you must also run the Customer Import task in Sana Admin to synchronize the changes between NAV and Sana. This is the Sana Demo Store. I will show you what happens when the blocked customer tries to log in to the Web Store. As you can see, the customer can still log in to the Web Store, but there is a message at the top informing the customer that he or she cannot place orders, see prices and stock. When you blot the customer in Microsoft Dynamics NAV, he or she cannot see prices and stock, place orders and quotes, convert quotes to orders, pay invoices and create return orders. So, the customer can only browse the catalog and see products. Besides, a customer can be also blocked if he or she does not meet the criteria set for customers in the data validation rules in Microsoft Dynamics NAV.